Hurricane Joaquin is hammering the Bahamas. One man in its path is Richard Stanzik. The Florida marina owner recently arrived on the Bahamas' Long Island on his boat. Of course, uh, you know, our situation is we're here on a family vacation, you know, in a big boat, and really should have had a bigger one if I'd have known this. Uh, we kind of got caught here. Two days ago, we were out fishing, didn't know Joaquin existed. This is not the best place to be. I've been getting uh, sustained winds at this point, 60, 70 miles an hour, I think. Uh, it is not a surge-proof harbor, so we're very concerned about, you know, the uh, tidal situation and the surge that's coming with this storm. And what you're really looking at is the, the open Atlantic and the big ground swells busting up against that. Some of the spray going 40, 50 feet in the air. The waves right now achieving 15 to 15 uh, foot height or more. The storm surge could raise water levels up to 10 feet above normal in some areas, accompanied by large, dangerous waves. Swells generated by Joaquin will start to affect portions of the southeastern United States on Thursday, causing potentially life-threatening surf and rip currents. I'm Matt Sampson, The Weather Channel. Oh my goodness.